What up, it's Melvin7 here, and as you can see, I've got the PlayStation 5. Uh, I haven't been able to get an Xbox Series X, which is just annoying. Uh, but yeah, I, I did an unboxing of the Xbox One back in 2013, and I thought, why not? This one's the digital edition. I haven't watched any unboxings on YouTube. You know, people might not be interested in this kind of thing, but for me, I, I love it. Like, you know, getting a new console, so yeah. I was able to get one um, from Shop2Net, I think, actually. So, we're going to open the box, and this thing is absolutely massive. Sorry for the audio. Right. Here we go, if I can actually manage. Oh, ah, okay. So, we've got a little box here. Let's see what this is. Ah, let's see how heavy the controller is, because I've heard a lot of good things about the controller. Oh, that is... That just feels so nice. I love the design as well. Absolutely brilliant. Obviously, it's got the grips on the top uh, and at the bottom for smoothness. Yeah, that best controller that PlayStation have ever made. It's nice that they're taking kind of tips from Xbox. I think most people would agree that Xbox have traditionally always had the best controller as well. For the original Xbox, anyway. PS1, PS2 had better, but then when the 360 came around, it revolutionised it. Oh, I think this is the stand. I don't think you're really interested in this kind of crap, but, you know, I'll still show it. Is it? I think... I don't even know what the hell this is. It looks like a stand, to be honest. Just, yeah, little thing. Pamphlet, nobody cares. We've got HDMI lead, the power cord, you know, the exciting stuff. Um, and... A USB lead, micro decent, so yeah, that's all that stuff. Now we have the thing itself. If I can get it out, you know what? I'm gonna light sideways because ah, yeah, it's bloody awkward. I can tell you that. Uh, also, let me know if any of you have actually been able to get any of the next gen consoles because they're like gold dust. I've been trying to get a Series X since, well, well before release, and I just seem to be a few seconds off all the time. So, here we go, we'll get the wrapping off. Oh my god, this thing is huge, man! This is like the size of a PC? Jesus Christ! Oh, that's a thing of beauty, though. So, you got the back there, where there's a few ports, you got HDMI, Ethernet, two USB by the looks of it. Pretty good. USB 3, I think. Obviously the power cord, that kind of thing. Uh, on the front, there's another USB and a micro USB. The power button, I imagine, is right at the bottom. But yeah, this thing is absolutely huge. Heavy as well. Like, Jesus Christ. One sec, let's stand it up. Get the thumbnail from this as well. So, I mean, that is ridiculous that's literally nearly as big it is as big as my t as my uh, little little table like wow that that is absolutely ridiculous so i'll just prop that up and put the controller there and yeah i mean the box is actually easy to as stupid as it sounds it's like easy to actually navigate there's not a load of shit that you have to do i remember with the xbox one box that was pretty annoying but yeah it's pretty good like Let's get the thumbnail sorted. Look at that, man. Absolutely ridiculous. I can't wait to get the Series X. As soon as I do, I'll do an unboxing for that. I know it'll be out of date by the time that I have uh, got it done. But yeah, just wow. So I think that's everything. It's just a nice little quick video, really. Um, but yeah, there's nothing else in the box. But yeah. As I say, it's the digital one, so I'm going to have to get installing some updates and that kind of thing. And the, I'm already breaking the controller, but, you know, it, it'll be fine. But yeah, um, I might add that onto the video, like the start up and all that kind of shit, but yeah. If not, that's the end of the video, but yeah, if so, there's another segment. So yeah, cheers for watching.